with a tragic loss of life overnight. Lexington police are investigating a shooting that killed a pregnant woman and her unborn baby. Now her family wants answers. ABC 36's Melanie Kendall is live in the studio with tonight's top story at 6. Mariah Coleman was eight months pregnant. Her cousins tell me she was going to have a baby boy named Jacoby. But now her family is planning a funeral instead of the baby shower that was supposed to be this Saturday. Yeah, she was ready to have her baby. She was ready. Police say 22-year-old Mariah Coleman was shot and killed. She was eight months pregnant. She was a loving, fun, funny person. She will always keep you laughing. Her family thinks Coleman was out walking her dog when she was accidentally shot. Why would someone do that to her? But detectives don't have much information, and they say they still don't know what caused this shooting. I heard uh, two gunshots. Officers were called to Winburn Drive late Wednesday night and found Coleman shot outside the Matador North Apartments. The coroner says she later died at UK Hospital. He says doctors tried their hardest, couldn't save her unborn baby. Investigators say they're getting conflicting stories about what happened, and that leaves many people in this complex nervous. I was scared. I didn't know if I was going to get shot or what. No arrests have been made, and investigators say they only have a vague description of possible suspects. But Coleman's family isn't giving up on finding justice. She didn't deserve to go like this. You know, but she got her wings now, and you know, we know that she's going to a better place, but that don't cover up the fact that somebody took her life from us. Her family is planning a vigil Sunday night at 5 o'clock outside the Matador North Apartments. They ask everyone to bring blue balloons for baby Jacoby and pink balloons for Coleman. There's also a GoFundMe page set up to help with funeral expenses. Information is on our website, WTVQ.com. Reporting live in the studio, Melanie Kendall, ABC 36 News.